this is Michael here, bookup.com, and I'm going to show off the new Lee Chess integration inside of Chess Openings Wizard. I just launched Chess Openings Wizard Build 127, and that's the latest professional version to date. When it comes up, if I've had it installed before, it opens whatever last ebook I have open. I'm going to go ahead and close that for now, and I'm going to create two new ebooks just for this demonstration. They'll be my white repertoire ebook and my black repertoire ebook. So I click on Create New Ebook. I'll call it uh, my white plans and move it over there so we can see it I'm gonna make another one really quick called my black repertoire let's see new ebook and uh, my, my black repertoire how about that these could be the same ebook as we'll see in a bit so right now for this demonstration I'm only going to use my white repertoire so I'm gonna close my black repertoire so let's make a modest repertoire. Allow me about 90 seconds to do that. When I play Blitz, I play C3, uh, mostly to astound my opponent and to convert into a London with, uh, you know, C3 always works, right? So sometimes I get uh, D5, sometimes I get E5, and then I play, you know, D4, and then uh, he takes and I take, and then if he plays a knight out, I'll play finally the bishop. So let's go back to, let's see, after C3, sometimes I'll see E6, sometimes I'll see knight F6 right away. I do that I continue with d4 ultimately I'm going to play you know uh, bishop f4 whatever he does I'm going to try to go for the, the fast London as they say fast London with c3 already wasted so this is my modest repertoire so I've set this up so that when I go get games that I played online from the different servers you can see how it impacts my opening because that's the dream right so if I am on the Internet Chess Club, for instance, what we'll ultimately be doing is using the games menu features called set watched game files. So we can set them up, right? It allows me to set them. I can add a file and it'll tell me, you know, what, what file do I want and where do I want the games to go, so on. And, and then after that, if they're set up, I just choose this option called check watched game files. Right now I don't have anything set. But for ICC, since they're usually stored in an interfaces log file, that is done here so for the I, I choose some file menu icc wizard and that will walk me through it am i using icc for windows dasher blitzen or some other interface and so on it'll follow me it'll lead you through all these steps and then set up a set watch game file that you can check that doesn't get you the very last game though unless you're only playing one game at a time and then and then checking your file instantly which you can do that's one way to do it um so let's take a look now at what it takes to do chess.com here I'm logged into chess.com, and the first thing I need to do is find my games. If you don't know where that is in the menu, one of the easiest things to do is click down here on the search icon, and then just say, search for my games. Once it's done that, it'll bring up your games, and you can select each game you want. I want this game and this game, the last four games I played, for instance, and then I can click on the download button. That will bring it into a PGN file, and I can import it into Chess Openings Wizard and do all the things that it does with PGN. But let's say I just want to do the magic again, the dream of I just played a game. I want that game while it's still fresh in my memory to instantly come into Chess Openings Wizard and show me where the novelty was. So that I can just go, well, my last game was against this Matteo Palozin. I click on the Analyze link. Once the game comes up, then over here, down here, you can see these little icons. One of those is a download icon. So I click on Download. And this is the entire game in PGN format, ready to go. Sometimes it's set to the image tab, so make sure you click on the PGN thing so you get this PGN text down here. It'll highlight it all automatically for you because it knows what you're trying to do. You're trying to copy it and paste it somewhere else. Exactly what we're trying to do. There's also a download button here if you want to just download it. Now, one of the things we'll notice here is that inside the game itself, every move has a comment embedded on it, which is the clock time for white and for black after that move. That's generally not interesting in my opening repertoire, and I don't want those stacking up and cluttering my comments. So here, look over here where you see this checkbox next to the clock. Uncheck that, and those will vanish. So all I have now are just the moves of the game in PGN format. Once they're all highlighted, click in this text and right-click it with my mouse. Right-click and select Copy if you're on, on Windows. If it's Macintosh, it's a little bit different, but still, just click and copy this text. Now the text is in my copy-paste buffer. And now I will flip back to Chess Openings Wizard. Back in Chess Openings Wizard Professional, all I need to do now is click on the Edit button and paste PGN from the clipboard. Now, before we do that, I want to take a look at what this ebook looks like. So we just have a few moves in here, right? Let's rewind it. So I have 
all the way back to c3 for instance all the way back to the starting position so i play c3 and i i'm ready for d5 e5 e6 and knight f6 so that's all i've prepared for in my entire repertoire so what's going to happen is all i need to do is click edit and then paste pgm from clipboard let's do that now it comes up and says oh how do you want to paste it how many moves do you want to get and I want the, high, the highlight uh, novelties maybe in, I don't know, yellow and green, let's say. Not red, but just yellow and green. Put my novelties in yellow and green. And uh, do not imp uh, import duplicate comment lines is a new feature in this build, by the way. So in case you import your games twice, you'll only get the game headers once. I click OK. It brings it in. And apparently the novelty point is here. And now, and now it marks all moves beyond the, the original book, my original repertoire. All the extensions to my repertoire are now this game, right? And they're all marked in yellow and green because that's what I selected. So apparently the novelty point was this guy playing D6 to my, you know, after he played E5. So that's the novelty point. But it took some steps, right? I had to have my ebook already open. I had to go to chess.com and copy and paste and come back and all that. Now, let's take a look at how easy it is with Leeches. With Leeches, you just go to the PGN menu and select Load Last Leeches Game. Now, if I do that right now, it's not set up. So I'll come up and say, Leeches Integration has not been set up yet. And it'll take you right to it. If you want to go directly to it, you go to the File menu and you say Leeches Setup. It's right underneath the ICC wizard. Once it's up, it wants to know your Leeches player name. Mine is Bookup. And it wants to know your ebook for your white games. Well, we set up a My White repertoire, right? So let's go find that one. My White Plans, that's what I called it. And it wants to know the ebook for black games. That's gonna be My Black Plans. Or let's see here, My Black Repertoire. That's set up. Also, like the uh, set watch game files, if I want these games moved into some PGN file for this system or for chess space or wherever you keep your games, just click Add Games to PGN File and click here to set the game file. I'm gonna ignore that for now. Once it's set up, all I need to do in one step, I'll rewind to make this fair, right? Actually, I can completely close all this. Let's say all my ebooks are even closed. I can rewind this one to the start. I can close it so just the main window is open. And I can say games, whatever, load last Leech S game. It will automatically go and grab the game directly from the server without having me to do any PGN work at all. It will figure out whether I'm playing white or playing black. It'll open up the appropriate repertoire. It will import it and take me right to the novelty point all in one step. Here we go, clicking it now. It goes on the Leech S server and it comes right up and says, okay, how do you want the highlights done? This time I want, or the novelties. I want the novelty, novelties highlighted in red this time. Click OK, brings it in. Here it is, my last Leech S game. Apparently the novelty here is here when, he, when I played D4 and uh, he played Knight F6. So we're still in some sort of book move here and I can zip out to the end of this line. Sure enough, uh, oh, I won this game and it was a blitz game. So, and it was played today before I made this video. You can tell I'm addicted to speed chess. So there you go, that's how easy it is. I, I call this the dream realized because now I can play a game online and the instant I am done with that game, with one click in Chess Openings Wizard without having to do anything technical, it will immediately, again, bring in the last game I played and fast forward me right to the novelty point so I can make a decision in the future. Am I going to repeat this? Or am I going to have to handle the new move if it was my opponent's move? Can I improve on it? Can I use the engine to improve on it? All of that is available to me right now. So I hope you enjoy Build 127. Um, later on, we'll be adding this to the Express version. If you're watching this and you're an Express owner, the same feature will be in an update for you. But right now, professional owners get it first. So thank you for watching and enjoy what I think really is the dream come true. Oh, so you're still watching the video. Then you probably heard about the secret part. Well, let me show you the secret part. Let's say that I wanted to, oh, spy on some other player on Lee Chess. Oh, let's just for this demo, let's pick on the world champion. So I can go to games and uh, load last Lee Chess game, but I, first I want to set up it differently, right? I want to go to Lee Chess setup. Um, and when uh, the world champion plays, he I think is Dr. Nickterstein, if I remember right. He plays, if, when he plays publicly on Lee Chess. And of course, we don't want to compare his last game to my white plans or my black plans. 
So I will go, and as you know, when you get Chess Uplings Wizard Express or Professional, some of the sample ebooks include all of Carlson's games as black and white. So you can call that his repertoire, right? So Carlson as white will be the move, uh, one that gets the moves for white games. And ebook for black games will be Carlson as black. Now, when I click OK and select games, load last Lee Chess game, let's find out what happens comes up and says, okay, it's already got the game. And, it, and uh, apparently it was a white game because it op automatically opened up Carlson as white. And it's gonna highlight the novelty in red. I click okay, and it does that. Ah, okay. Oh, that's an interesting novelty very early on in his repertoire, mostly because this is probably a bullet game. So it looks like black here was intending to play d6 and accidentally played d5 and dropped a pawn against the world champion. Uh, you know, it's happened to the rest of us too, right? So let's zip down at the end of this game just to make sure that's correct, right? Sure enough, this uh, his opponent lasted 45 moves, but it's a bullet game. And of course, uh, the world champion won against another grandmaster, played in September. And so, yeah, that explains this. So... You can use this to spy on the last game played of anybody on Lee Chess. And I think that's one of the cooler features.